This is my country, my damn country, give me my country, you can keep the rest. This is my country, my damn country, and it don't mean a thing if it don't pass the test. All right, guys. I am standing on a dirt road outside of the Dugway testing facility. It's back behind me there. Actually, GPS took me right up to the gate, which was a surprise when three armed guards came out and I had no cameras running, nor did I even want to try. But I'm going to try to uh, find a place up along these mountains someplace where I can spend the night tonight and uh, see if I can find anything out here. Um, apparently, Dugway, it is a huge section of land. It goes all the way up to the Idaho border almost. Um, it does break at a freeway that runs in between it, but it's just massive. Um, I'll give you some more stats when I find a place to camp and we can uh, show it, but it's apparently the new Area 51, so we're gonna see if any aliens come cruising by tonight. All right, y'all. Gonna get back on the road and drive and try to find a camping spot, okay? Peace, my friends. Boxes, boxes, I cannot fit in the boxes. Stop it, stop it. Quitting was never an option. Exhausted, exhausted. This passion is never exhausted. And you cannot stop it. The flow, show you the way that it go. God is good, but his life is hard. But it gets better when you grind it small. I'm just really trying to leave a mark. We tired of being who they say we are. That's the baton, we gon' take it far. I was the real, we gon' fake it all. Tired of nine to five, just make enough to survive. Only living on the weekends. You really thinking that's why I'm alive? Listen at the scenes, time to live my dreams, do the things deep inside of me. This life it continues, we're fighting me. But I don't have quitting inside of me. I will not jump in these boxes, they throw throwing me. Talking to God and there's so much he's showing me. Shaping me, growing me, taking me sowing seeds. A growing tree, y'all get a load of me. Yeah, don't let them slow on me. I get the bell like a grocery. I'm on my ground like I'm supposed to be. And I do not care if you notice me. I cannot fit in the boxes. Stop it, stop it. Quitting was never an option. Exhausted, exhausted. This passion is never exhausted. And you cannot stop it. Nah, you cannot stop it. This isn't a robbery. Hands in the sky if you got a dream. Learn nothing was blocking me. I was the problem, the only one stopping me. I didn't like it, I had to refocus. Now I'm devoted, I know where I'm going. Controlling emotions, I'm owning the moment. In order to get it, see, you gotta want it. This type of flow make a living break. Confessors over these 808. Don't sleep on the key, better stay away. I mean, for heaven's sake. I'ma be the best, came from the endless. Playing with the games, bitch with the chest. Be beating on my chest, trying to get my rest. Watch me while I flex. Every win is a blessing, and every L is a lesson. So when I run into rejection, I know it's all in redirection. I see the blessings right beside me. The chances are quite unlikely. I do it like I'm in my Nikes. Don't make excuses, they never excite me. Boxes, boxes. I cannot fit in the boxes. Stop it, stop it. Quitting was never an option. Exhausted, exhausted. This passion is never exhausted. And you cannot stop it. Nah, you cannot stop it. Quitting was never an option. Alright, now I've got some Dugway facts, but before I do that, time for a step two. Again, thank you Steve. Uh, today, Guinness Nitro Cold Brew Coffee. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I like coffee. I like Guinness. And I figure there's no better time. I've even got the ball inside. I can hear it rolling around in there. Mm. 
Cheers. Ooh. 4% alcohol by volume. Beer with coffee and natural coffee flavors. It is delicious. And I figure, since I'm going to be running around for a while, I might as well test that. See if it actually works. All right, you guys, so let's talk a little bit about Dugway Proving Grounds. Um, it is a U.S. Army facility that was established in 1942 to test biological and chemical weapons. guys so what is dugway proving grounds um dugway proving grounds was created to be a facility that tested biological and chemical weapons and it is 85 miles um southeast of salt lake city utah basically um it is out in the middle of nowhere and uh i will actually give you guys the numbers of just dugway itself because it also kind of encompasses the Utah test and training range. The two of them together are insane, but right on the other side of that hill is Dugway Proving Grounds. Um, and it is a 81,505 80, acre testing facility. So that's basically 1,252,352 square miles of just Dugway. So on the other side of Dugway and I-80 is the Utah Test and Training Range. And it is, with all of the space, the total controlled surface airspace is 207 miles by 122 miles. So it is the largest controlled, no human can go into it airspace in the entire United States. Um, they, they, it is just massive. It goes almost all the way out to Windover and then it breaks in the middle of the Salt Flats and I-80 and then it goes almost all the way up to the Idaho border. Um, it just keeps on going and uh, ufologists, are saying that this is where they think now that area 51 has gained all the attention this is where they think all of the new alien testing is going on um, so they're basically calling it the new uh the new area 51 the size of some states could fit inside of it and it is all the militaries so We'll get a little more into that as it gets a little later. I'm gonna sit here and drink a little beer and then I'll start to tell you guys what they actually test out there. And like I said, tonight we're gonna to set up some cameras, see what we can see. Maybe try to, it looks like there's a road that goes up this way. Maybe we'll try to walk up that road tonight and see if we can find some, some alien activity. But overall, it's just a beautiful, beautiful day out here. This is really nice. Uh, the Pony Express Trail runs right along here. And uh, I'm going to look at some maps and see what I'm going to do with myself for tomorrow as well. Uh, give it a little while, then eat some dinner, but welcome to the new Area 51. I'm going to find closer places to get to this, I promise you that. Cheers.
All right, everybody. So I've been wandering around for a while. Aside from a few helicopters and some other things, haven't seen much. And the moon is coming out, so I think I'm gonna turn in and I have a time lapse running. Hopefully that'll catch some stuff throughout the night and we'll see what happens, but just dark. morning so far. Good morning. Cheers. I'm having a little uh, Dunkin Donuts cold brewed coffee. One of my ultimate tips when you're out, do the cold brew. Um, I don't have to pull out a stove. I don't have to do anything. And this coffee is absolutely delicious. So as you can see from my beer choices in this, I'm all right with iced coffee. Um, all right, well, let's talk a little bit about last night, huh? So, it got dark pretty quick. Um, I slunked into the car for a little while and then got up and did a little video of the moon, wandered around, tried to see if I could see anything, uh, set up a time lapse, which looked good until the moon rose, and then it looks like daylight. It's amazing. Um, didn't capture anything on that or uh, didn't really see much heard a lot of jets flying over last night all night long um, and also helicopters but other than that really didn't see anything um, some of the cool stuff that i have seen is again the medicine wheel that's up on the hillside there and i saw an owl last night which i think is just phenomenally cool don't worry i didn't look it in the ice um, but it did fly over the top of me and it was a really neat omen so overall this place is outstanding there is so much I mean, there must be a hundred plus miles of nothing but peaks and, and valleys like this all the way out to Nevada. So there's just a ton to explore and a super neat area. Someplace I will definitely be coming back to, to just come camping. Um, I am going to see if there's a place where I can get closer. I know that there's an area out near Wendover, uh, Utah, not Nevada, called Gold Hill, where people apparently watch, and I have a friend that's going to try to get me out there, so there might be a second episode of the new Area 51 Dugway installation coming soon, but as of now, I'm going to kind of cruise around. I think I am going to try to head to Blue Lake today, but we'll see. All right, y'all. Good morning. Mm. What a nice place to drink coffee. And no wind this morning. It's super nice. Oh, and no bugs. All right, be well, my friends.